Thanks to the digital special effects expertise in Hollywood, our eyes routinely experience impossible violations of the laws of physics. Which sets an unnaturally high bar for astonishment when encountering the likes of the Bentley Continental Super Sports, a leather-lined luxury two-door that weighs more than some full-size SUVs but can outrun a Corvette Stingray Grand Sport to 60 miles per hour while your senses are telling you it's doing something magical. Your brain wants to dismiss the evidence as if it were just another video on Fast Forward. This sense of incongruity was only heightened by the Bentley's preternatural calm as it did ridiculous things on our drive over roads outside Lisbon, Portugal, and on the track at Estoro, a former Formula One venue. Its maker claims the Super Sports Coupe takes only 3.4 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour the same time we measured for a 707 horsepower Dodge Charger Hellcat and for the previous fastest Bentley, the limited edition GT3R. Yet there's no cloud of tire smoke, no tail wagging, no speedboating rear axle squad here. Just tap into its deep wells of power and torque and the big all-wheel drive coupe shoots forward, and seems happy to keep it up for so long as the driver's courage holds out. Aerodynamic resistance finally wins at 209 miles per hour, Bentley says, asserting that this makes the Super Sports not only the speediest Bentley ever but also the fastest four-seat automobile in the world. View 84 photos? The same Continental as ever, only more so. In addition to the 209 mile per hour coupe, the Super Sports also will be offered as a convertible rated for a top speed of 205 miles per hour. Customer demand will determine the body style mix of the 710 car production run, 250 of which will be allocated to America. The first coupes will be 2017 models, and the convertible will be added for 2018. The name Super Sports also appeared on a 2009 to 2012 Continental, of which 1900 were built. The first use was in 1925 when the name was Super Sport, two words and singular. Founder W. O. Bentley guaranteed the original could top 100 miles per hour, powered by a 3.0-liter four-cylinder engine. This new one employs twice that displacement and three times the cylinders, with its 6.0-liter W12. From the 552 horsepower this engine offered in the 2004 Continental GT, output has increased to 582 in today's equivalent model and 633 ponies in the GT Speed. Starting with the Speed version, Bentley engineers followed some conventional paths to push it up to 700 horsepower in the Super Sports. Bigger turbochargers feed into a reworked intake system via revived intercoolers, new main and connecting rod bearings reduce friction, and the programmers recalibrated the fuel injection, ignition timing, and cam phasing.